Well, hello, Royal Gang. As y'all can see from the title of the video, we're about to bleach my hair and refreshing this color. Are y'all ready? Stay locked in. Focus on me. Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus? Okay, so this is what we're gonna be using today. <clears throat> we have our bleach, our quick blue. We have our 30 volume developer. I have my bowl and my uh, brush. Yes, don't come for me. It is just an old margarine bowl. And then we're going back in with the Adore Green Apple. Okay, okay, y'all ready? Let's get it. See, this is why I always put a shirt on that I don't care about getting bleach on. Because it's inevitable that it, it may happen. So make sure you put something on that you don't mind possibly bleaching, okay? So this is what the texture is starting to look like. I don't measure y'all. I know you should, but I've been doing this for a while. So I know what the consistency is that I'm looking for. So since I'm a waver, I need to brush up my waves. So we're gonna go opposite direction of what I normally brush them. And see, the reason I need to bleach my hair again is because y'all see the dark roots are coming through. So we gotta get them. And in the back, I need to cut, but I'm trying to wolf just a little bit longer. I haven't got a cut in like three weeks, so I'm not really ready to cut it again. All right, so we got our, our waves all brushed up. All right, now in this step, if you choose to, you can put um, your base around your edges, around your ears, Vaseline, whatever you want for your base. I normally don't, okay? I'm not a health care, or excuse me, I'm not a, a hair professional. Okay, I'm not a hair professional. I just do this in my bathroom. Okay, that's why we're here, right? That's why we're here. All right, guys, so now it's time to apply that bleach. Um, I normally start in the front, like the mid to the front of my head and work it all the way around. Um, you wanna make sure you get all those baby hairs in the front, make sure everything's covered. You also wanna make sure you get behind those ears and check the back of your scalp. You wanna make sure the nape of your neck, if you have hair that goes down that low, that it is covered as well. So yeah, we're just making sure that the bleach is covering everything. As you can see, it's already starting to pull that green out and it's already starting to lift. So you wanna to try to get the bleach on your head fully as soon as possible so it can start developing evenly. Excuse my facial expressions, y'all. My allergies were killing me while I was doing this and I was concentrating and I was focused. So yes, excuse the facial expressions, but we wanted to make sure that this head was looking right, okay. Alright guys, so we have it all over. As y'all can see, okay, 
Now I'm gonna comb through it just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just to make sure that we have it all the way to the scalp. Just smooth it on back. See what I'm saying, y'all? See what I'm saying? You're gonna make a mess. You're gonna make a little bit of a mess. But I have a towel right here that I don't mind getting dirty in this shirt. It's not that important. But we are gonna get this bleach off of this. So now, y'all can see the green is coming out. Y'all, this is just a Randall's bag. You want to make sure that whatever the print side is, it's not on your hair. So we're going to put this wall, this uh, Randall sack on our head for that heat. You want to make sure your hair is covered. And we're going to leave this alone for about 25 minutes. And we'll come back and check it after 25 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, guys. It's been 25 minutes. Let's see what we're looking like under here. it on here uncovered for like another five to ten minutes just so y'all can see the back and then we're not toning it y'all I normally don't tone my hair anymore I just use my purple shampoo to get some of the brassiness out so that'll be the next step we're gonna wash this out in about ten minutes and then we're gonna purple shampoo it okay All right, guys, so this is what it looks like after rinsing out the bleach. I did condition it for like five minutes. So this is what it looks like right now. The green is gone. The black roots are gone. Now we just need to purple shampoo it. So this is the shampoo that I'm using, the Shimmer Lights. Like I told you, I don't tone it. I just use the purple shampoo as a toner. And I get a good amount of it. And you just put it in there. And massage that in the scalp. And we're gonna leave this in here for about 10 minutes. So we wanna make sure that all those little blonde hairs are covered up. There we go. Make sure you get behind your ears. And we have our purple shampoo in. So let's let this sit for 10 minutes. And I'll be back. All right. It's been 10 minutes. And this is the finished product. So we white white. Okay. All right. We could have gone whiter, but it's no point in going platinum, y'all, because we're about to turn it back green so we're white enough okay all right so again we're using the adore 163 green apple i do this the same way i do the green shampoo okay it's in my hands now if i had nails or something on y'all i would have put some gloves on but i don't have any nails so we're okay I love this color though, y'all. Compared to the blue that I had before, this color just is so much easier to deal with. So much easier to deal with. So y'all can see the back. We wanna make sure we get behind those ears. Make sure all the color is not concentrated in one area, that it's fully on everything. You don't want dark spots. That sucks. I've done it before. 
Okay. But the great thing about this green is you can have a little bit of a tint of yellow in your hair and it's not that bad because it'll enhance the green a little bit. And when it fades, it'll be like a, a lightish yellowish green. All right, y'all. I think we have all the baby hairs covered. Let's take a look at the back. Let's make sure the back looks good and covered. Yep. Okay. Okay, we got it all on there. I'm going to put a little more on this side. It looks like it needs it. here for like 30 minutes y'all because the longer you leave it on the more saturated the color is and the longer it stays so we're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and then we'll come back after we washed this out stay locked in all right y'all it's been the 30 the dirty 30 and we rinsed our hair out with cold water conditioned it again Rinsed it out with some more cold water, okay? Because you don't want to use hot water on these semi-permanent colors because they'll fade. And we just did all of this and we want it to last. So this is the final color. Now we need to moisturize it. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil. A wee bit of oil. I'm going to massage this through. Okay. This is my favorite conditioner, y'all. And I'm almost out. I need to go get some more. I can't even squeeze it out anymore. I have to like dig my finger in it. But this is the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter leave-in conditioner. This conditioner is my favorite conditioner. And I have multiple conditioners here, y'all. But this one like makes my hair feel so much better. But I have this one as well, the Cantu leave-in, but I don't like it as much. It's not as good. So now we need a brush, y'all. I got my hard brush. We're brushing. We are brushing. But that color came out fire. I gotta get my crown, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, this brushing, y'all. The waiver life. It ain't easy being watered up, okay? I'm gonna be a honey. This is not easy. Your arms feel like noodles after all the brushing, I promise you. But we gotta stretch those waves, stretch, the, stretch those curls. I've, lately, I've been focusing a lot on my crown because I want my crown to lay down as it should. So, that's a work in progress. The rest of my waves are pretty much connecting, but it's my crown that I've been focusing on. Like, y'all can see this side is spinning. It's spinning. But this crown, though, child. It does what it wants to do. It does what it wants. Alright. Alright, y'all. This is a, it's a whole effort. <laughs> so we're going to have to do this hard brush for about a good 20 minutes in order to like really train these waves back down. Of course, it's a little bit easier right now because I just bleached my hair, so it changed my curl pattern a little bit. So it's a little bit easier after a fresh bleach to get your hair to lay down. But we're gonna do this for a good 20. That's just the first step, because then we gotta go in with our medium soft brush and really focus on that crown. So this is just the initial brush. I'll be back in a little bit, y'all, after I 
wear my arm out. Okay, y'all. We finished up with the hard brush. Now I'm gonna put a little, uh, I use gel. Oh, I know a lot of people use pomade, but pomade makes my hair really greasy and I don't like it. So I just put a thin layer of gel on my hair. Not a lot, just a little bit. Probably like a nickel size worth of gel just to like get the flyaways. Now we're gonna go in with our medium to soft brush. It's more of a medium brush, I would say, y'all, but this one works the best on taming my flyaways. So we're gonna go in with this brush for another 20 minutes of brushing. Okay, so this is the progress so far from the hard brush. Now we're just going in with the soft one, making sure we lay all these waves down, okay? Okay guys, so here I am using the plastic bag method where I'm just taming any flyaways, making sure the hair is completely laid down. So we're gonna do this for a few minutes, make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Excuse my mouth moving y'all, I was on a phone call, so that's why it looks like I'm talking to y'all, but I'm not. So yes, we're just laying all the hair down, checking all the angles, making sure everything is laid as it's supposed to be. Now it's time to rag up y'all. Now I know y'all see on my left side, it's my weaker wave side because I've had parts cut on that side multiple times. So whenever I get another haircut, I'm going to let my left side be a little bit longer and cut the rest of my hair down to meet that left side. So that's why it looks like it's a little bit thinner on that side, but that's because I've had multiple parts cut in on that side. But we're just ragging it up, making sure we lay that do-rag down flat Tying it up in the back, making sure it's nice and tight. No air pockets to make sure those waves don't uh, turn back into curls. And then we're just gonna let it air dry for a couple of hours and then we'll be back with the results. Stay locked in. All right guys, so it's been about three hours. So let's see what we're looking like, y'all ready? There we go. Okay, all right. So whenever I take my do-rag off, I always like to you know, brush my edges again. Just from the lines of the do-rag. But yes, there you have it guys. We're back, green apple. 